Hi everybody. Today you are going to learn to paint and draw a person. So I have one a, a portrait that I did of a little girl and this is a, a fictitious person. I call her my inner child and but she uh, is some, some a, a picture I painted when I was doing a previous demonstration. Uh, same technique. It can also be a boy. And this is just, here's another one. This is just a basic way to draw a face. So I did this little drawing here to show you that you draw your oval, you find the middle axis, you find the horizontal axis. That means right in between here, and that is the eye level. All of this is the crown where the hair goes. Halfway in between the eye and the chin is the underside of the nose. And then about one third down from the nose to the chin is the line that separates your upper lip and your bottom lip. So I started it a little bit here for you, but um, I wanted to show you about mixing your paint. So you're going to squeeze out some red, some orange, some yellow, some brown, and some blue. And you're going to mix three skin tones for starters. So use your palette knife so that it's better to mix with a palette knife than a brush because you don't waste as much paint. So start with a light and you just need just a little bit to make, well, it's mostly white and then um, if you want to, you can put a little orange in there, but just a little bit of color to make that lightest tone. Okay. And then your next one, you're going to go darker so you get more stuff. Okay, you don't want too much blue in there. The blue is kind of polluting it because mostly we are, our skin tone is warm. No matter what ethnic origin you are, we have blood running through our veins. And that is why we have lots of pink in us. Okay, that blue is coming in there, so we don't want that. We're going to be careful. Okay, and then, so that would be We've got light, we've got medium. Yeah, there we go. And then we need we need even even darker than that, I would say. Although that's pretty dark. Let's see. Make it a little lighter. And then here we'll split this in half and make this our darkest dark. So I'm going to and in this, I'm going to put a little more brown over here to make our darkest dark. And I always put the red. Okay. See how that goes. I don't know how separate that looks, but we'll always have, we'll put some more brown here in case we need it to make that dark darker. Okay. Or we can make this middle one a little lighter. You see what I mean though? If it gets dark, it's hard to go back to light. All right. So here's what you do with this. Now, first, what I did here is very faintly, I drew the oval of the face. I got my, now realize the eyes are gonna go on this, this line here. However, first, we're gonna make some shadowing here. It's always easier to paint something, uh, a form, where one side is light, one side's dark. So start with a light and just do that. And don't worry if you're painting outside the lines because you're going to paint over it. Okay, oops, now I'm getting some of that dark in there, darker. And I'm going to mix just a little with the white because I think it got a little dark, but not bad. All right. So it looks, it's okay if it looks like a mess. Don't worry. <laughs> Messes are good. If you feel like you've run out of paint, oh no, I'm just going to get a little, mix with a little more water and that's good. Okay. So now the next thing we're going to do, put this down here. We still sort of have, I know that's the center of the face. I still can see my, my um, horizontal division there. I'm going to dry off my paintbrush. Maybe I'll choose to make the eyes blue. So I did put something there, but I'll 
I'll do a little more. You may just, this is supposed to be the pupils. So just make like little donuts. And you say, well, why a donut, right? That is going to remain as the uh, highlight on the eye. So we'll just leave that there for now. Um, now, remember, now you're going to take your dark. Because what we do next is, if this is the light side of the face, that's the dark side of the face. Always, too, there's light coming from above because we live in a world where either the sun is above our head or the lights in the room are above our head. So think of this, if the light's coming this way, any part of the face that sticks out is going to be lighter, and under it, it's going to cast a shadow. For example, let's see, oh, yeah, we'll do this. Um, underneath the brow, your eyebrows kind of stick out, you know? Underneath there is a little shadow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of the lightish part of this side, but it's still darker than that really light stuff because it's going to show up because this area is so light anyway. So it's okay if this side is lighter than that. Okay. And then the shadow under the nose. So remember, we said in between the eyes and the chin, about halfway is where the nose should go, the underside of the nose. So really, you could just do that. And if you feel like, oops, I lost it on that side because it's darker, you could just, you can be darker over there. That's okay. Now, the other thing, I don't know if you realize this, but your upper lip kind of curls out. Everyone's does kind of curls up, and then it goes under. So the upper lip is always a little darker because there's a cast shadow. Oh, yeah, remember that? Say this is the line in between your upper and lower lip. This is always going to be a little darker. Now, if you want to, you can make those ripped, those lips ruby red. I think they're a little redder, but it doesn't matter. Okay, you don't have to do that. It depends on if you're making this a boy or a girl, if you want it to look more feminine. Looks like a mustache for now, but really that's the top, that's the, that's the upper lip. And now so the bottom lip sticks out, it catches light from above, but it casts a shadow under it. I'm going to make that one darker, I think. All right, so that's a shadow that goes under the, the upper. This is the upper lip. That's the lower lip. That's the shadow underneath, okay? And then the ears, you can make the ears a little pinker, but they live over here, right? In between, we'll make this one lighter because this is the light side in between the eye line and the nose, okay? So it still looks maybe like an alien. So you might ask, what do we do next to make this look a little more human? Now, notice that I left a little bit of white over the pupils. That's because if you think about it, here's your brow, here's the shadow under your brow, your eyelids stick out. Eyelids are always a little bit lighter. So this is, I'm going to, for, for the ladies out there, it's like it's like putting on eyeliner because you're going to do eyelashes. Whether you're a man or a woman, everyone has eyelashes. And you don't see every lash. Instead, the lashes come out at you like that. So you don't really see every lash. It just looks like... Like that. It's just a little darker. Some people have, are gifted with more eyelashes than others. But see how I left that light there? That is the light hitting the top of the eyelid. Give a little steady hand. Now notice, okay, I have to be quiet for just a minute while I do this. Okay. So notice that if these are the eye, eyelashes, they touch the, uh, the iris here. You never see the whole iris. It's covered. All right, so we're, we're starting to get a face here, right? Now, you might say, well, then you can you can put some nostrils in here. It wouldn't hurt you. Okay. Oh, here's what we're missing. Some people think this is the eyebrows. Nope, that's the shadow under the eyes. The eyebrows would be over here on top. It's a little dark. 
everything on the left side is going to be just a little lighter. Okay? And then you might say, well, what about the hair? Or another thing that people sort of get perplexed about is what about what about the uh, the neck, right? I feel like we're going to need a little more white. It's, now, under the chin, the chin sticks out, and under it, you're going to have a shadow for sure. But remember, the left side of the neck, which is lighter here, you want to make that lighter for, for starters. So I'm kind of... All right. So you can make, make the neck here. It's a little dark, but all right, we'll go with it. That's going to be lighter. And then this is going to be the darker side over here. This is in shadow. I left a little bit of a line there, but you know. And we have to decide, is this going to be a boy or a girl? Could go either way at this point. Now, remember, there's going to be a shadow under here. So you can make this a little darker. Okay. So now, the hair. Hair is uh, something, another thing, like people want to draw every hair. You don't need to. It's more like you look around at, at somebody that might be walking around your house now, use them as a model, and you'll see that because the hair, well, let's just say the hair that sticks out over the brow, usually it sticks out a little and it does cast a shadow of what's under it. So let's do that. Something like that. It can be dark, you know, because of that reason. Even if it's a person with blonde hair, there's usually a shadow there. And then what you find is that most hair kind of has a shine to it. So you can do something like that. And then it'll probably be kind of light here. You can put a couple of strands in there. And then it gets dark again. So that's like, it's a, it's a highlight. It's where the light hits it, you know, and it'll get dark again. Now, is this a boy or a girl? That's the question. Usually I ask the class and they decide. So let's just do that again over here. Put some highlights. All right, I think usually, well, let's just see. And then usually there's some over here. The hair behind the uh, the ear. And there you go. Now, you might feel like, oh my gosh, look at that neck. It's a little, little off. Well, you can always paint over that. First of all, oops, you got to be careful with black. You put that in there. Things, skin tones get gray real fast. So be careful of the black. Um, let's see. It's kind of looking like a girl to me at this point. So let's just go with that. We will give her a neckline now and some shoulders. If you say, well, the neck is still a problem, you can do a couple things. You can paint a background around it. You can give her more hair. I think what I will do just because I want to be able to be flexible, like what if you are painting a boy and you want to have short hair? So how would you paint a background? What would you do? I'm just picking orange just because it's there. It could be any color that you want. But you, know, you, can, you can paint around it, you know, and just make a background also. Eee. And then if you feel like that neck spread out too much, you know, you can, you can compensate by painting what's around it. But notice I'm being a little careful of the black. I don't want it to smudge in. Orange is a beautiful color, too. I love it. And you just keep going. And you find, you know, when you... Sometimes if you leave some white edges, it makes... Um, well, I don't know. It feels like light or something like that. So you can keep going. Now, still a little... You know, I feel like I want to do more with... Uh, her shoulders and all. 
he is in a nice orange room. I like that. Um, let's see, what else can we do with her? With her sweater and her neck and all that stuff. Well, because we, I put that black line in there, if you make a mistake with this, sometimes you can wipe it up if it's wet enough, but this sort of dried. So you can paint over it. Let's do that. And we again be careful of that black. It's right, I have a big blob of black in my red. So instead of you know, instead of getting that and trying to work around that, I just made some more. So let's do this. Let's see if we can see if we can just do something with this. So, you know, pink. Pink is always a good thing, like we said. And then as it gets over here, it gets a little darker. So we can put more reddish brown in here. This just this is like reading kind of like a shadow. So that's good. But still, this kind of feels like it's just kind of sitting on a table. We want to make it feel like, um, you know, her sweater or something. So what we could do is then you know, give her a sweater. There's something to her. A nice royal blue sweater. See, this is like that's like her shoulders, it's kind of behind. And you might want to give her sweater a texture. So some of the things I see people do that I will just sort of warn you about. One is sometimes people make the shoulders too narrow. They're, more, they're bigger than you think. You know? Sometimes people make the neck too little. It comes down like almost right from the ears. All right. So that is our girl. Now, if you wanted to, on top of that, you could kind of play around with some things. Um, you could try to make more of a shadow on the nose, but I'm going to, I'm not even going to do it because, uh, that would be fine. Now this is just to get you through. Can I make a human face? The most important thing is just to review the eyes are in the center of the skull right there. Um, I mean, really that is the most important thing. And then the nose is halfway in between that. And then the, the line of the lips is, uh, either a third down or a half down from here to the, to the chin. And I think that's about it. So you can have some fun with that. I, I like patterns, so I'm going to give her a polka dot sweater. Why not? And I hope you have fun with this. All right. Have a good day.